Ah, okay. Well, it feels like it's been a while, and I feel quite rested up, so... So to get back to work this week, and... I mean, can't, can't really... It's a little hard to tell because my camera's carbon, but I have a bunch of tabs open up top. So I actually was doing research on, like, projects to cover, like, just random projects. Most notably the ones that are that just launched, so they're a couple days old. Problem is, a lot of them still haven't launched, so they're in the back of the queue. Because, you know, launches this this month is so far going to be pretty slow. There's only two projects that I'm really eyeing. And they're not going to be launching for at least another week. Right? And one of them is in the Elite Discord, so... Uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting. I might do the video on one of the Seifu Titanosphere forks. I still have to determine what keywords I want to try to rank for, especially Web three, because Web three's just be going off, you know. And Sphere is under a minor correction. It's just like ten percent, because you know that thing just basically is up like what thousand percent or something. So, yeah, it's just a lot. So I just have like a bunch of random projects, right, that I just got off of, obviously, you know, over here, the XYZ site. So, yeah, so it's going to be pretty slow. So, anyway, I have to be a little careful about this site because, you know, the values don't show up. So I just got, I finally managed to get it to show the actual TVL by refreshing the page enough. And it looks like they've been out for quite some time, right? So this is called... Mini verse. So if I go over to XYZ and I type in mini verse, yeah, you can tell I was actually browsing Tomb Fork projects, right? Because some of these are just not launching for a while. Uh, oh, look, Scarab is below peg. That's a shame. I mean, they're already paying like a really shitty APR anyway, but they had like a. Like, I did the video on them a long time ago and they were doing pretty well, so. And I, but I never invested in it because the APR is too low. So you have, you have, so it's like the same thing as always. You get the same risk, but much lower reward. So there's no point, you know. So this thing was promoted. So it's at the top. That's how I literally found it. It's KYC. They've renounced some contracts, at least one, and they're above peg. So this like looks like a very solid project, you know. I've already covered these before. Dex Finance looks completely different and too confusing. So that's why I'm not going to cover it. But supposedly they're supposed to have like a tomb fork with a dex. I mean that's great, but still too confusing for me. I'm like, all right, whatever, you know. But it should still be stable though, or at least very. So yeah, they have all these things. They're paying for some promotion on the XYZ site. So they've got a lot of TVL locked. I believe they're above peg because this is on Phantom, so they are pegged to one to one dollars USDC specifically. Their share price looks pretty healthy too, and they've been printing quite a lot of shares. There's quite a lot of circulating supply too, so this project seems pretty, uh, pretty whatever. Now they do have a buy NFT. So one of the things that the, this thing has is they have like NFTs. Like I don't really understand how that works, but if you go over here, it does say NFT staking. They've got an auto compounder, I guess. Goes to their link tree. So they're on Yield Wolf, Double Finance. So they're actually already okay. So they have a Yield Wolf. Okay, so I should actually okay. So I should actually include this here. So I will include that, of course. I don't plan on investing in this project. I'm just researching for you know you guys and gals. So let's see. I like another platform. Uh, naturally, they don't tell me the share. Okay, so here are the share allocations. Great. Oh, how convenient. So, so technically, this does use the smart APR system because this counts as half. Yeah, so they're technically using the smart APR system, but not by a lot, but still good enough. And it's over 12, 12 months, so perfect. So, yeah, th these devs obviously know what they're doing. They're obviously quite established, right? And... Of course, all this safety comes with the cost, and the daily APR is kind of low. But with that being said, this is still not bad. Two to three percent a day. You know, it's even got the single stake. So this, this so the documentation isn't even updated. So yeah, this totally uses the smart APR system. I don't even have to ch uh, click in here. And on top of that, you're farming stablecoin dollars. So that's actually really nice, especially because it's. Because it's theoretically supposed to protect you during down days. 
Like right now, there's a little bit of a fear trade, especially in crypto, right? Because right now, you know, things are, you know, oh, it's actually back up a little bit. Okay, because it, it fell, well, Bitcoin fell to like 45,900. So, okay. Well, it's just like a slight pullback. So it's just like people just catching their breath in the markets. And, uh, oh, I forgot to mention this because I went straight into doing the video. Uh, so thank you to the person on YouTube. Like, yeah, you, you also watch me for the wisdom. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I like doing these videos because, yeah, it's important to tell you how to make money, but he, I still want to give you the overall big picture of what you're eventually going to do with all that money, just like Greg Manorino does, right? He tells you the stock picks and other plays that he does, right? Uh, but still, but his videos still overall are, are about the big picture because the big picture is determines what you're going to do with your money and how you're going to keep it and keep it growing. Otherwise, you're going to lose everything, right? It's like, you know, just picture yourself like making money and all of a sudden like a bunch of like government assholes with the military just comes in and shoots everybody and then you, and then you die. You know, that, 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 that's why the big picture thing is very important, especially now we got this whole Russia, Ukraine shit going on. Like, things are happening, man. Things are getting pr pretty bad. I wish the freaking... I mean, the like, landlord's not cheap with gas. It's just that like, gas is so expensive now. And it's going to get much higher, so... Heat's not really on that much. It, it it comes on for, like, four minutes. Like, sporadically. So, ugh. But at least I, something's coming on. Can't wait to move to Florida, so I never had to do this shit again. So, yeah, so that's why I always try to sprinkle a lot of wisdom along with what to do, right? Because, you know, yeah, I mean, pay your bills, have some money saved in your bank account for bills, right? And then what do you do with your money beyond that, right? You know, you got to keep your money because if your money is not growing, it's shrinking, all right? There's no neutrality in this. You either get richer or you get poorer, all right? Which is kind of the reason why the middle class... Even before then, like the concept of a middle class, like I always just never thought that was, you know, really viable, right? I mean, I know everyone's, you know, middle, try especially is building a middle class, but the problem is it's like just kind of hard to maintain. But then again, you can't really have like super rich pre people, super predators running your government and society either. So uh, it, it, it's like, what a mess. But now that I've been doing so many of these projects and learning so much, right, you know, you know, I really think that really all you need is like a real life, like, titanal fork governmental system, right? So everyone just automatically pays taxes. There's no need for like an IRS or whatever central taxing authority you happen to have in your country. And then you just get the money back in the form of like, you know, holding the token uh, of your of the project, which in this case is your government. And then you just get free money. And, like, that's – that ideally should be how things should run. So, you know, I mean, we'll see if that actually happens in the future because, obviously, the governments don't want that. Central banks don't want that because, obviously, they can't pull any more of their bullshit anymore and then it caused World War Three, endless wars and killing all these innocent people. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, Greg Manorino says that crude oil – like, the West – I mean, he doesn't say the word West, but that's really what it is, right? He said that, you know, the petrodollar, the United States, you know, Europe and whatever, they're not going to let the rest of the world get off of the U.S. dollar because that's basically what China and Russia and India and really the Muslim world, and every, it's including Saudi Arabia, that's what everyone else is doing. So I don't know, man. It's like, yeah, they're like, okay, you want to get off the U.S. dollar? Let's start World War Three. So I don't know, but... I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, I still don't think that's possible. I mean, yes, it's possible. I don't think that's likely to happen. But, I mean, I guess if you back them into a corner, they might do it. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. I have to imagine the U.S. military is not going to follow the orders and launch nukes. <clears throat> because they're going to be like... You know, are you know, because people still have fat friends and family throughout the United States. So, they, so the people who control the nuclear weapons have you ever watched that old 1980s movie called war games the opening scene is like you know two two people who work the nuke silos and like i think that's actually a real thing like if because there's always two people if one guy refuses to launch the nukes even though he's been given the order to the other guy's supposed to shoot you in the head for refusing so <laughs> i don't know man it's gonna be 
pretty nutty, but I have to imagine everyone's going to eventually go like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not going to launch the nukes. It's like, you know, this is bullshit. You know, of course, the media is going to tell all the military, like, hey, New York City just got blown away. You know, like, we got to launch nukes before, you know, they hit us. So launch the nukes. And then they're going to be like, what? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't want to create fear and FUD, but... Um... I mean, I imagine that's what their central bank will eventually try to do, but I think it's just going to be so ridiculous that it may not even get to that point, which would be a good thing. But, you know, we'll, we'll take it a day at a time. We'll try not to worry. Because, again, you can't get – the central banks can't get their money if they kill too many people. You know, that's the other thing, too. So that's another reason why they can't just do World War Three, right? Because, well, then they have, there's nobody left to enslave because everyone died because, you know. So anyway – uh, so basically, this project will give you two percent to three percent daily, and it's gonna basically, and of course, you're gonna be pegged to the U.S. dollar. So very, very nice in terms of stability. You know, personally, you know, I always just want the higher APR because I extract profit. So I don't. I mean, I do care that the tokens go down in value, but I mean. You know, I mean, it's a tomb fork. I mean, they're really just designed to really just print money before, like, the project dies, right? So you just keep pulling money out. And if the project never dies, then you have you make way more money. But maybe you don't want to be as high risk, high degenerate as me. So something like this would be pretty good, you know. But again, I mean, the share price is 308 bucks. It's very stable, obviously. But that could always change, you know. So... Okay, so we got a TVL of almost $1.3 million in the boardroom. Okay, they've got 4,187 shares rounding. So basically, so usually I've noticed that usually in the boardroom is staked. You know, usually about like 55, 60% of it is staked in the boardroom. <coughs> and the daily APR, if I'm able to select it. Uh, the daily APR of the boardroom accordingly says 3.17%. So you're actually getting some good money off of the boardroom here as well. And of course, that's because it's a smart APR system. I'm not even going to check the inflation rate because it's already above. Because usually the default is, you know, 4.5% and goes down to 4% after 500000 So they're already in like the next tier of the inflation. You know, it's still pretty okay above peg, not too far. So it's very stable looking. So they've got a pretty good system here. It's pretty obvious that whatever their NFT thing is here, it actually does seem to be working. All right, because I know Hamster was asking me for like an update video. I really just didn't have anything to say. And I mean, part of the problem is you need to have an actual thing. Because I looked at their site, it's like, where is their gate? It's like, I, I don't know. There's clearly something wrong because Hamster keeps going down. This is doing really well, so I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to mess with NFTs, but it's pretty obvious that this thing seems to whatever. And you can even buy the NFTs here, right on the front page. And then you could just simply, I don't know, buy it through this shit. So I don't even know what they do. I mean, obviously, I don't really care. So these guys have been out for quite some time. Okay, so this is their peg token. So it looks pretty decent. Like, there were times where it would actually reach a peg of $1.04. Now it's slightly higher. Let's see. What do I set this chart to? Four hours. Okay. So I see a similar thing happening to the share price. It was as low as 113 bucks. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, it's doing better now, and it's obviously doing pretty well, but nothing prevents it from just dropping below 100 eventually. You know, which of course is going to screw up the project. I mean, tomb forks are very difficult. As much as I really like them, I just can't see them really competing against titano forks. Because the only way I could think of, because I'm not, because so far I haven't really done the smart APR video. I don't think I'll ever do it. It's like, eh, whatever, you know. Well, it's still on the docket if I really need to do it. You know, I'm just thinking, the only way to really make a tomb fork viable is to, is to maybe have a 0% buy tax. So buys are getting cheap but then when you sell any of your tokens whether it's the m shares or the base peg token mv dollars you should charge a 30 percent sales tax then you use that sale tax money to create your treasury to inflate it and then you know use it to do whatever you should probably just buy back your project right specifically the peg token 
you know, of course, it keeps the super predators at, at bay. And if the super predators still want to play, you're getting 30% of their money, which is not a bad payday, right, for your project. And I thought, okay, so that's the way to do a tomb fork. Then why just have well, then why have a tomb fork in the first place? Just have a just fucking you know fork Titano or specifically fork uh, sphere, right? Because everyone's because sphere is basically overtaking Titano at this point, I think, or they're very close to doing that. Uh, okay, then here he is, your yield wolf. So same thing, two to three percent. So anyway. I want to kind of cover a bunch of projects today. Let me see. This is not out yet, so I'm just going to dump you somewhere back here. Uh, yeah, so I kind of want to just, you know, pump a couple videos. I want to put, I was thinking about maybe putting out up to six videos today, right? Because most of them are going to be Titano or Seifu forks, so I'm only going to need to spend like seven minutes on each. Uh, but I don't know, we'll see. I'll definitely do at least three today. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll do a fourth. Because I do want something for tomorrow, too. Because, you know, again, a bunch of t uh, Tomb Forks are just not launching yet. I especially want to look at this project. I mean, they're launching, but they're in a Genesis. So I want to wait for the LP to come out, you know. Because, you know, yeah. And this project's not even launching until, uh, I think, tomorrow or April 6th. I'm not really sure. So, I don't know, if you want to look at Skake Finance. I mean, this is a little... I always find a Tomb Fork that does pre-sales really shady. So it's like, eh. Well, anyway, check out... What is this called? Mini-verse. They appear to be doing really well. They're very stable. I'm not going to invest in it, because obviously I need the high daily APR degenerate play. So I don't really... So I need to, I just need to be stable enough because I just kind of assume all tomb forks are unstable anyway. All right, we just saw Scarab Finance is below peg now, and they were supposed to be stable, right? That was their thing. So it's so I'm like, what's the point, all right? Anyway, check this out if you want to try this. They're obviously know what they're doing, and of course this NFT stuff that they have seems to actually work. So you know, and I don't mess with NFTs, so. All right, I'll see you in the next video. I believe it'll be super with two U's protocol. All right, and I think, yeah, they're 460, so they're obviously a sphere fork or Seifu, Seifu Web 3 type of fork. So, all right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. And, uh, yeah, try not to worry about World War 3. I mean, that might be a thing, but the good news is Satan's losing control. So... I don't know. I think we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, we'll see how it goes. You know, humanity's starting to get kind of sick and tired of this bullshit. So, I can't imagine even the U.S. military going along with this eventually. I don't know. And anyway, see you next video. Thanks. Like, subscribe, share, and of course, spread the channel around.